My brother called me up and he said, can you give me some kind of acapella thing standing on a street corner? I said, okay. I didn't know what the, what the hell he was talking about, I mean, because I knew nothing about a boxing movie at that time. So I put something together, take it back, Buddha, do, do, I've been told by, take it back, Buddha. Well, let me adapt this. And what's really weird, George, is that it's 1975, okay? He might call me late 74 going into 75, because I started filming 75. And uh, so I did that, forgot about it, and moved on. And the next thing you know, it was in the movie. If I would have had good management, which I never did have, maybe I could have capitalized on that a little bit. But we had our deal on RCA Records. I mean, I didn't know any better. I mean, I was in a rock band, you know. I was always known Frank Stallone, you know, guitar player, singer. I was never known as, all of a sudden overnight, you're like Rocky's brother. It's like, what's that, you know? So I was always known for who I am, as, as you were known for who you were and everyone else in the group. All of a sudden, when this came out, it was bigger than anything we could ever imagine, ever. So all of a sudden, I became like a brother of a fictitious character. That's like, who's your brother? Like, you know, Spider-Man. I mean, how do you, you know, figure that? So it became a little tough after that. It didn't sink into after a while. I'm going like, whoa, you know, because all the gigs we got at John and Peter's and that stuff, that was all way before Rocky, you know, the second fret. So I knew I was okay because I got those like 10 years before the Rocky came out.